We uh, lost somebody really brilliant and funny in the comedy community, and I know I'm talking about Brody Stevens, uh, and you uh, were very close with Brody and had worked with Brody. Uh, everybody in the comedy world was a fan of Brody Stevens, really brilliant comic, and so his, and his passing was very tragic. Yeah, he was uh, so funny. He really was a comedian's comedian. He, he was one of the few people that every single comedian loved and would run in the room to see. And, you know, years ago I did this movie, Funny People, and I shot all these comedians, and I didn't know if I would use any of it in the movie, but I, every time Adam Sandler would do stand-up, I would shoot a lot of other people, and one night I shot Brody's act, and it didn't wind up in the movie, but then he kept talking about it all the time. Yes, he talked about it incessantly. It became his shtick, kind of. Yeah. He would go on and on about all the things that had worked out for him, and then he would say, cut from funny people. Yeah. <laughs> and it I just was became... in the hangover, and I was cut out of funny people, and he would say it all the time. And uh, so last week, I, I went through all the footage to find the footage of Brody uh, in Funny People, and I found it, and it's beautiful. It was shot by Janusz Kaminski, the great cinematographer who did, like, Lincoln. And uh, I wanted to show everybody this uh, little bit of the great Brody Stevens. This is really sweet. Uh, let's take a look right now at uh, the work of Brody Stevens. Come on, please, I got picked on. I, my sister beat me up, she punched me, she kicked me, she spit on me, she threw keys at me, and the beatings with the keys hurt the most. Why, you ask? Because my sister was a janitor. She had a lot of keys. Please, stop it. Were your parents divorced because of you? No, I was a troubled kid. I used to break toys, I was aggressive, very hairy. I shaved when they mocked 11. It sucks, I went for a swim out in Venice Beach and I clogged the drain. They shut it down. My hair is worse than a hyperdemic needle. Hyperdemic, a new word, yes. I'm confident, I get it. Rent's very expensive. Currently I live in the gay section of Compton uh, in the Shirley Hemphill House for Young Starving Artists. It's great, you know. A lot of people think, Brody, you do well. You must be a part of the Mile High Club. That's having sex in the airplane. I am not a part of the Mile High Club. However, one time I jerked off on a Ferris wheel. Uh, <laughs> LA County Fair during the Sugar Ray concert. And it's tough, I'm from Reseda. They had gangs, man. Karate Kid, I'll take you to Miyagi's apartment on Satakoy. I'll take you to the bonsai area where he fought Zabka hopping the fence. That's my life. Please. <laughs> Soak it in. <laughs> Fearless. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he would pick out people in the crowd that weren't laughing. Yeah. <laughs> He would do something that no comic, he would find people in the crowd that weren't laughing and go at yeah. them in the most hysterical way. Yeah. Yeah, such a fantastic, fantastic. No, it couldn't be funnier. We're all devastated and gonna miss him a ton.